Thank you for joining us. Today we will demonstrate Solution Manager integration with WorkSoft Certify. Let's get started. Let's navigate to Solution Documentation. It's the highest level. And first we'll create a sales order process. As you notice, we did navigate automatically into our OTC process in my particular sandbox folder. So let's uh, take a look at uh, the first thing. The first thing is creating a sales order and linking it to a third-party tool such as uh, WorkSoft Certify. I'll go ahead and open this up and show you the anatomy of that test, what it looks like. Ideally, you would start in Certify itself and record all your tests, test scripts, and then assign them to a test package, test uh, configuration in Solution Manager, but uh, vice versa, either way, you can do it either way. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch WorkSoft Certify so I can show you the anatomy of that test. What I did was created a new test using WorkSoft Certify and then saved it. So as you can see, these are the test steps for the actual test itself. We are actually creating an order. If you go down here to step 17, I am storing that order that was generated out of SAP and I am pushing it back or storing it into, so I push that up to SAP itself. How you would do that is map SAP parameters. In this particular case, there isn't any because I've already done it, but I could edit the parameters if I wanted to. There's the sales order number for say in solution manager. I don't want that. I'll go back to the test. but at least you can see what, what it's mapped to. Okay, so let's just go ahead and save that and return it to SAP. And we could execute from here, or in this particular case, I'll just close it and right click and execute as well. I will execute the test. Close this pop-up window. Go back to the IDA system and we'll watch it running. And let's notice the order that it will capture and save and push back to SAP. In this particular case, the order is 37120 and we'll take a look at that inside of SAP as well. So initially, it will open up the WorkSoft Certify results and we can take a look at that. And as you can see, that is stored in our centralized database. There is an error on the particular step and I uh, created that step to actually fail. And as you can see here, I asked the value to has been saved is equal to standard order, the standard order 37120, I did that deliberately. If we go down here to the last step, the parameter that is stored to the variable name sales order number is 31 or 37120. So I'll close that and we can go take a look at that, what that looks like inside of uh, SAP. Let's go back to solution documentation. We'll close that. Let's go to home. And we can take a look at the test execution log. And let's do a query here. Change my query, make sure it's for today. That's good. 17th, apply. Yep. And there we go, it is 568. We take a look at the log. And this log number here will go back to WorkSoft Certify Results. Uh, but we're more interested right now in taking a look at the related links, which is the ECAT log. And that's the log inside of uh, Solution Manager. Let's go ahead and expand that. And again, every step is recorded along with a test report from the external tool. So let's go ahead and click that and we can take a look at the actual report that was uh, tied back to Solution Manager from WorkSoft Certify along with screenshots. So every single execution, this will be tied to the log along with uh, the exact steps executed from the test. And if we scroll down a little bit more here, we'll take a look at the status bar sales order number. And as you can see, the 
variable or data that was passed back to solution manager is the sales order number, which is 37120, which matches the execution we just performed. That concludes our basic WorkSoft Solution Manager integration and execution.